My name is Josh Luber, and this is my come up. This is about, this is about my whole life. I am 40 years old. I grew up playing basketball when Jordan played. In 1990, I was 12, I was in seventh grade, and I saw a kid at school wearing the Jordan 5 grape, and that was the like, aha, like first of all, to see the, the purple and the teal and all that. And from that moment, from 1990, through 2000. So for 10 years I wanted Air Jordans and I, I um, never had them. But I played basketball every year and I went to the high school down the street from Kobe Bryant. Every good basketball player in our neighborhood was recruited to go play with Kobe on that team that won the state championship. And so it left like me and the other like five foot nine Jews to play on my team. And so we won three games in two years, right? We lost one game by 93 points. We lost one game by 93 points to a team that would later be in the state championship against Kobe's team. They, they, with eight seconds left in the game, their team called timeout, they were up 91, to set up another play. Anyway, the highlight of my basketball career was I beat Kobe Bryant in a three-on-three -three tournament because they had really bad rules where you could foul out. So for the last third of the game, someone on his team fouled out, so they were playing 3v2. So even with Kobe, you still get open like nine-foot jump shots. So that was like literally the highlight of my entire basketball career. So these things converge, right? Because like my whole life was basketball and my whole life was like wanting sneakers. And so um, I graduated college in uh, 1999 and I had my first job and I was a furniture salesman. I had my own money for the first time. And so in fall of 2000, the Concord 11 comes out. And it's about you know a month or two after the shoe came out. And I decided that this was what I was gonna do. I was gonna take the money I made and I was gonna go buy Concord 11. And so I went to the mall and I went to one of the sort of nondescript, you know, foot action, foot, you know, all, all the, it wasn't Foot Locker, it was one of the other like smaller ones. And I went in and I walked in the store and the Jordan 11 Concord was sitting on the shelf. And I was like, I was like that, 10 and a half. And there were two guys working in the store at the time. And they looked at each other and then they looked at me and they looked at each other and I was like, what? And they're like, well, there's one pair left and we were gonna sell it on eBay. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I was like, no, nah. I was like, I'm a customer, I'm here and I, and I wanna buy that. By the way, think about this, this is also 2000. So eBay was sort of just becoming, you know, a, a sneaker you know, marketplace, it was just becoming anything. At the time, I'd only bought one thing ever on eBay, which was a CD. It was a Paul Van Dyke CD. Um, literally uh, about eight months after that, I would buy the second thing I ever bought, which was a 1991 BMW 850 for $30,000. So I bought a $10 CD and then I bought a $30,000 car. It's a different story. So I'm going back and forth with these two guys who have like, have made it pretty clear that like, they don't really want to sell it to me, but you know, being good corporate employees, they caved and they sold me the shoe. So now I have a Jordan 11 Concord. And what's the first thing you do with that? If like your whole life, you've grown up playing basketball and you always wanted a pair of Jordans, like what's the first thing you do with it? You go play basketball. So for the two years after I graduated college, we played in this rec league and I was probably as better as I've ever been during that period of time. And I wore those shoes that whole season and in the championship game wearing the Jordan 11 Concords, I had 51 points. I had 15 threes and had three layups in the Jordan 11 Concords. And I still have those and those, those shoes are completely beat because I played them for years. And most people don't believe that I ever put up 51 in a game, but the other people on that team can vouch that I put up 51 in that game. Um, and that you know, was the first pair of Jordans I ever owned.